and uh, the question is still proceeding and asking us to calculate the rate of compound interest that was charged per month for higher purchase terms. The rate of compound interest charged per month for higher purchase terms. So I have gone to the market. I have gone to the market to obtain a television set. And uh, unfortunately, I might have found the price unfriendly to me in terms of what I have in my pocket. And uh, of course, the mark price, the mark price of this item shall always remain the same, regardless of whether you are actually obtaining this item on cash price basis or on high purchase terms. So the mark price is still 25000 600 but i do not have that money and i may have decided to purchase that item on cash price basis i am given a discount of five percent i end up paying 24,320. if i do not have this money i can be told to pay 12,640 as my deposit and clear the remaining balance in 16 months pay 1450 kenya per month so what is the high purchase higher purchase. So I'm going to have uh, 35,840. You see, this was our marked price. The price at which that item was supposed to have actually been sold. But now I end up using the high purchase terms and I cough 35,840 and pay for this item. So I'm asked how much money, in terms of rate, was I able to actually get charged by this seller? You see? And they are asking for the rate at which I was actually able to have the money and the interest. And that's what I was actually paying. Uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and of course, this is very, very easy for you to actually do. Because you're going to do this. You're going to actually say, uh, rate is not money. Okay? But the time that I took to pay that loan is 16 months. 16 months. So, I know that this rate at which the balance I was to pay was earning interest, okay, is done on a monthly basis. Because you're supposed to have paid that balance in 16 months. So, the compound interest and the money was actually able to earn in terms of what was left. You see, for the person to pay, isn't it? He was able to get calculated on a monthly basis. So I know compound interest is equal to principal into 1 plus R over 100 principal. Or we can just say amount of money that I end up paying now in total should be equal to uh, the principal into 1 plus R over Raised to n, and uh, fortunately, not all that amount and interest. You see, not all that amount and interest. Because the question is saying, calculate the rate of common interest charged per month for high purchase terms. So, I am supposed to actually get that amount of money that was able to attract interest, and I can be able to see at which percentage was that money able to add interest. In terms of what was left to get clear. So I'll first be able to pick uh, 25,600, then I deduct whatever was paid as the deposit 12,640. So this is 0, and this is 10, this is 6, this is 5, 15, this is 9, that is 4, that is 2. So 12,960 was what was left. In terms of what the person is supposed to actually clear to have that information set. So this is what earned interest. This is what earned interest. So this becomes our principal. So you should be able to have this. You should say amount that has ended up getting paid is this. Look at that. So again, we need to deduct this from this and see what was able to get paid as the principal plus the interest. So I'll again pick 35,840 minus 
minus 12,640 to get the amount of money that was then now paid. See, young, yeah, that's correct. Correct. So I need to have, uh, let me see, first, I have this at the total amount of money that was able to be paid. And I have this as uh, what was left to get paid. So I want to see how much interest was able to get paid. Or how much money was able to get paid as interest. This is what was left to get paid. Why? The cost was 25,600 as market price. I have paid a deposit of 12,640. I get the difference to see how much money am I supposed to clear. But I'm trying to clear this balance. It's 16 months. I want to see at which rate was I able to have this money and in interest on a monthly basis. You see? So I need also first to get how much was I able now later to pay as the extra. So I take the total amount of money I pay less, less, less what was remaining. You see? To see. How much interest was able to get charged on top of that money? I don't know if you're getting the point. We have 12,640 as what I paid as deposit. Then from this total amount of money, I need to know how much interest or how much money was collected. So you can be able to say 35,000, okay, 840 as what I was supposed to have actually paid, less 12,640. So you have zero, zero, this is two, this is three, this one. So I was supposed to, this is two. I was supposed to have already ended up paying this. And I have this. I have got to the market. I have found the item going at 25,600. I have paid a deposit of 12,640. What do I get left to pay? 12,960. But finally, at the end of the day, I've paid a total of 35,820. So I pick what I've actually paid finally, minus what I paid as deposit to see what did I pay later as a cumulative figure after I had paid the deposit. So I paid 23,200. I want to see how did this money that I was to pay initially, if I was to actually get this item on cash price, isn't it? End up accumulating interest until it actually accumulated to 23,200. So you should say 23,200 as our amount is equal to the principal that was actually supposed to pay 12,960 into 1 plus the rate is not known out of 100 rest to the duration. We have been told 16 months. 16 months. 16 months. So that will be able to use this is 16 out of 12. We should be able to get a convert. No problem. Okay, so we shall divide by 12,960. Divide by 12,960. So we have this to divide by 12,960. So I have 1.790. So 1.790 is equal to 1 plus 1 from 100 raised to uh, 16 over 12. That is uh, 1 and 1. So 1 and 1. So we can get what we call the entries of what I've been doing here. So I will do this. So I have uh, 1 and 1 over 3. And again, put here the root. And put 1 and 1, 1 and 1 over 3. So this and this will disappear. So I have the entry of this. So I'll be able to say uh, 1. So this is the same as uh, 3, so 4 over 3, so 4 over 3. Then shift this. 1.790 so I have 3.294 which will be equal to 1 plus r over I can take this one on this side so I say minus 1 so I have uh, 2.294 is equal to r over 100 so times 100 then times 100 so this and this is so times 100 I have 229.43. Okay, I'll say 44 percent. These are right. But this is on a yearly basis. So I divide this by what? By 16. 
16 months. You see, what was the month that we just read? So it was 14 with 3, 4 percent. That was the rate that we can understand the x axis. Correct.